Hey, what's up? Welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler. Thanks for stopping by. Tonight, I've come to my last other half beer, and um, it's kind of sad, but it's also kind of exciting because I get to drink another half beer. So, um, apparently this is an OG other half beer, which I've heard about it for years. I've never had it. This is going to be Double Dry Hopped Broccoli. Love that label so much. This one I'm going to keep and stick on the beer fridge. It just looks awesome. Um, yeah, from what I was uh, told recently, this is more of a, um, I guess like a classic new school, classic hazy. <clears throat> um, not as much on the juice bomb spectrum, but uh, we'll see. Uh, let's see here. Looks like it says OG on the bottom. This one was canned on September 29th. So not even two months old. Let's go ahead and get this uh, opened up. This one is from the <clears throat> Brooklyn location, I believe. Yep. All right. Let's go ahead and get this in the glass here. Super hazy coming out, very light. All right. So as far as the appearance, uh, I mean, it comes in, oh, man, I'm trying to figure out what's up with this um, autofocus lately. It's been weird just with the beer itself. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, beer comes in, nice light gold color, um, completely hazy. Um, kind of looks like a mix between like orange juice and, I don't know, maybe like peach or something like that, peach juice, I don't know. Um, Dude, that focus is really driving me nuts. Um, <clears throat> anyway, yeah, uh, creamy, bright white, uh, tiny bubbled head. It looks like it might leave some decent la uh, lacing on the glass as well. Looks really nice though, looks the part. What was the ABV? 7.9%. So, all right, let's go ahead and sharp our nose in this thing. Huh, okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's not juice bomb like esque. It's not explosive. This battery's getting a little low. <clears throat> yeah, I mean I'm getting like <clears throat> a decent bit of orange and pineapple. Like it almost kind of reminds me. Like it's got a little bit of a juiciness to it. Like we get my daughter. It's like a um, pineapple orange mango like cocktail like drink you know like the the carton drink uh dull or whatever it is just i don't remember the brand but it's one of those juices and it kind of has that vibe going on a tiny little bit of like a herbaceous like dank quality but not overwhelming by any means yeah it's not super explosive on the nose um, it does smell good but it's like a pineapple and orange type mango-ish thing. Like, that's pretty much all I'm getting. It's not bad. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and try it. Cheers. Huh. Okay. Yeah, really different than other the other, other half beers I've had. This one does have, like, a <clears throat> green herbaceous bite to it, like a bitterness in there. Um, definitely different than the other beers that I've had from them, for sure. I mean, the last one we just did was super, super juicy, like straight up juice. But this one definitely has, it's like you get a nice bit of the malt profile on this one too. It's got a light crackery, bready malt, <clears throat> but it's got a decent pop of bitterness though. It comes across in like a green, herbaceous, maybe even slightly piney type of way. Getting a little bit of orange juice in there, orange peel, orange pith, kind of combo of all those juice, pith, peel, um, tiny bit of pineapple, but I would say this one is a pretty dominant as far as the, uh, the green, like herbaceous piney type of thing and that orange. I mean, that's the two dominating factors in this beer for me. Um, it's still quite light on the bitterness though. 
it is there. And I think that the green character comes across in like the bittering type of aspect for this beer. Um, very easy to drink. <clears throat> medium body. Uh, lighter side of medium probably on the body. Uh, very easy to drink. I'm not picking up a bit of that 7.9%. Uh, quite dry on the finish. So... Uh, it just lends to the drinkability of this beer, but uh, very tasty, uh, very different. I can see what uh, people were saying when they said this is more of a um, you know old school like OG type of hazy. It is definitely not on the realm of like overly juicy, um, you know, no bitterness. Like it's got a little bitterness, and it's got you know some of those characteristics that you might find in. Uh, I don't want to quite say a West Coast IPA because I don't think it's on that realm, but it does have a pop of bitterness in there. It is more dry, less sweet tropical fruit, less, less fruit in general. Um, you know, more of the peel, uh, zest, you know, pith, all that. Um, but yeah, it, it, it definitely, everything that it's doing is working. Um, I love that green um, herbaceous thing to it. It just really adds a nice dimension to this beer. Yeah, it definitely, definitely good stuff. So, um, again, this is double dry hopped broccoli. Um, as far as a rating on this one, <clears throat> I think I'm going to go like 4.1 on this one. Uh, it's good, definitely. I would drink this another thousand times. Um, I just feel like I'm, I'm basing it off of the other beers I've had from them, uh, which have been just top notch, like world class. I feel like I've had this before from, you know, give me a brewery. Um, but I'm not saying that in a way to take anything from this. I think each beer has a time and a place. And I just think this one is doing what it's claiming to do. It's just a classic, like, easygoing, not super, like, you know, crazy on the hop profile. It's just kind of a nice, easy drinker that's got a nice hop flavor to it, a nice bitterness, and just something that's really easy to drink. So, yeah, I'm going to go with 4.1 on this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and a comment and let me know what you think and let me know what you're drinking. Also, if you've had this one, let me know what you think. And what's the last part? Oh, yeah. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. Would appreciate that. Cheers.